This is an opportunity for you to meet who you're betting against. Try not to get too righteous and listen a little. Okay, fine. Who is this guy? And a real solid gold asshole. I'm a CDO manager. A CDO yeah. manager? Yeah, they're Harding Advisors. I didn't realize that there was anything to manage with CDO. Um, my name is John Carvalho. I'm here with Roger Ver. Um, you guys know me as Bitcoin Aerolog. And basically, you know, a lot of people wanted us to talk. So I asked you if you'd come here today to answer some questions I have basically mostly about scaling. Okay, I'm I'm promoting Bitcoin Cash. If I it's not an Bitcoin insult. Why do you have to take it personally? It's just a name. I actually like I'm it better. Insulted here? I'm being insulted. I don't need to be insulted by you. I, I have enough money. I was a self-made multimillionaire before I ever got involved in Bitcoin. I don't need to have my buttons pushed by people like you on the internet. It's Bitcoin Cash. Roger, the only reason you want to call it Bitcoin Cash is because you want to co-opt the brand. And when you have two versions of Bitcoin, one that has Bitcoin Cash that's fast, cheap, and reliable. And you have Bitcoin Core that's slow, expensive, and unreliable. Don't call it unreliable because, because if you pay the fee, you'll get in. That's the same standard. If you pay the fee, you get uh, in. Uh, the question is, is that people are willing to pay a higher fee on Bitcoin because it is more valuable and more secure. So I've been paying a higher fee on Bitcoin Core because uh, that's what it takes to get my transaction to an exchange so I can sell it for more Bitcoin Cash. So Do you uh, still I've have Bitcoins? Some Bitcoins, yeah. Why? Because it's stupid to put all your eggs in one basket. And I hear uh, Adam back, and it sounds like you're getting at the same thing. Like, why don't you sell 100% of your Bitcoins? Uh, that would be stupid. Why would you? I'm, not, I'm not getting at anything. anything. I, I'm just interested to know because for somebody that's so emphatic, right. I mean, you said Bitcoin is broken. You, you, you hate everything that they've done to it. Quote, you, know, you, you think that people are attacking it or, or throttling it, whatever you think. But you still hold it. It makes no sense. I think Bitcoin's usability has been incredibly, incredibly, incredibly damaged and intentionally damaged by replacing. It's by still useful to you. But you represent the investors? Is that right? Yeah. But we're not in the Merrill Lynch building. Okay. Where we're are in you? New Jersey. You're 20 minutes away. Well, five easy helicopter. Okay. It's funny, huh? That's hilarious. With the amount of Bitcoin that people Bitcoin think you have, with the amount of Bitcoin people think you have, and the amount that you may have spent on Bcash, you're going to have more. Uh, I would like more... an apology at this point. It's not Bcash. It's Bitcoin Cash. Look, it's it's what I call it. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's it's just so easy. It's it's a nice name. Okay. It really is. This interview is over. I don't need to be insulted. I was a self-made millionaire before I even got involved in Bitcoin. Now I have even Who more. Who cares money than that. if you're a millionaire? It has nothing to do with anything. You okay. No. I actually feel pretty sick. You think I'm a parasite, don't you, Mr. Ball? But apparently society values me very much. In fact, let's do this. I'll tell you how much I'm worth. You tell me how much you're worth. God, you are an incredibly big piece of shit. I don't need to be insulted by some person on the internet. What's your gross annual revenue for Exotica? None of your business. Isn't it? Less than a million dollars, huh? It has nothing to do your with this conversation. Your gross annual revenue is less than a million dollars. So that of means course. you don't know how to run a successful business. Of course. We do more than a million dollars in sales. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is not, not a business, days. Roger. We're not running a business here. Bitcoin, is, so. Bitcoin is changing money. It's, it's decentralized. The world the better. Not You're business. playing around with your little porno site. What's wrong with the porno right. site? You don't like, you don't, you have a problem with sex now? Difference. I'm trying to change the entire world for the better by giving every single human being on the planet the ability to have complete control of their own finances. And you're here insulting what I'm trying to do, calling names and calling my projects names. And then you don't have any real world. Short everything that guy has touched. I called it literally a name, not an insult. And now it's you're the one trying to insult me for the type of work that I do. Yeah, I see nothing wrong with sex. I don't think it's okay to insult people, right? If I started calling your website, I don't, which, the no, correct no. pronunciations, Exotica, if I started calling it Stupotica, you would take offense to that. Uh, where, but where is, yeah, but you, you're adding the word stupid in there. Where did I add an insult when I say Bcash? I'm just abbreviating to make it easy to say. It's not like personal. I'm There's no personal you, aspect to it. The quarter of, of Bitcoin Cash doesn't like it being called Bcash. So I'm asking you nicely, and I asked you politely. Isn't that kind of indicative? That's kind of indicative of how centralized it could be. If if every like there are only a few people that even care. It's like you and Jahan, and then everybody else. And everybody give a shit else. Comment. I think that there are only three people that want to call Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin Cash. You and Jahan and your sock puppets.
Okay, because there's there's nobody Goodbye. else. I've never hired a single sock puppet. I don't need to be insulted.